Welcome, welcome, welcome to what's going to be the first part of many, many parts. Um, I have decided to attempt to take on all the mods 9, if you can't already tell, and complete every single quest line that's in the game. Now, I know some people do, there are like speedrun categories, to try and get to the, like, I think it's the All Star or something, you know, the final, like the end game sort of stuff. But I'm going to try and complete absolutely everything that exists. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't take like 400 years. Um, we'll go and start a fresh world while we're waiting for the game to unfreeze. Long story short, this is a very intricate sort of quest line. It starts from the very basics to like gathering wood, building a crafting table, all that sort of stuff. Um, right through to yeah, getting some of these rare materials and building reactors and like all sorts of weird, wonderful stuff. Um, so we want a YouTube completion series. That'll do. Oh, that looks like an actually spell. YouTube completion series. We're going to set the difficulty to hard because fuck yes, why not? Play our cheats, definitely not. So survival, hard. We go to the world, world types default. You see there's no particular seed. Generate structures on, bonus chest we are leaving off. More, we haven't touched any of them. So we're into here, we've got all our settings. Let's go create a new world. And hopefully, we don't get a terrible spawn. Oh, we're in. We're by the ocean, I can see kelp already, so that's a very, very nice start. I mean, our biome's kind of flat. What the f is that? I'm super confused. We've got a B there. Probably not going to do too much with them just yet to start with. I mean, the fact we've got ocean nice and close, which means it's going to make it so much easier to build a kelp farm. Or take a seashell, why not? Yeah, it's going to make it so much easier for kelp. Um, I've also got sugar cane as well. Playing another lot of that. I've made the advancement solitary. Um, now, as I was going to say, so for those of you that are familiar to ATM, like all the mods, you're already going to know this. For those of you that aren't, when you go to your inventory, you've got all this crap here, so you can see everything you can build. Top left-hand corner, you've got the quest system. What it wants to load. There we go. So, my guess is going to be these are the people that have made it, or have had a hand in making it. You can create a team, all the commands, all this sort of stuff. So this is like just a welcome to all the mods 9. When you go to the arrow on the left, it brings up the entire list. So we're going to try and achieve from top to bottom all of this. We want to go through and do all of this. So they've got the welcome page, which is this one. It's a kitchen sink pack that allows you to explore the world of modern Minecraft in your own way, naturally. We tick that one. Welcome to all the mods 9. Cool, we've just got a bit of free XP because why not? Explains about the quests, how they work. They're not gated, so there's nothing gated behind completing quests. This just basically gives us something to aim towards. So we can tick that off. So now the welcome one is complete. What we want to do is all the modium. So it's intro to it. Exist. <laughs> it's the core mod in all the mod, mod packs. Uh, this mod adds end game ores to the world that amplify your modern experience. So task exists. Cool. We'll take the book and we'll take some XP. All the modium ore. Now, what, what people actually go for, the main thing, where is it? The ATM star. This here. This is, sorry, it's the ATM star. This is what people generally try and speed run to get to. But you can see there is there is a lot going on in this mod pack. Like, so chapter one, the beginning, this is where all the simple stuff is, all the easy stuff. Things like mining your first like bit of wood, making a crafting table and a crafting table on a stick, your first pickaxe. Get stone for a furnace, get metals, all this sort of stuff. This is all the basic Minecraft stuff. Then you got like diamonds and going to the nether, the end, all that. You get, you got to kill the wither. So we're going to have to try and kill the wither. We're going to have to try and kill a warden. Fighting the old modium ore, which is apparently quite difficult to do. Like there's just, there's just so much. And that's just chapter one. Um, you've got refined storage I've never really done anything with. Mystical agriculture is 
crisp because you can make the seeds to grow. So yeah, ultimately we want to try and work our way through the essence as quick as we can because that's going to be the most crucial part is getting some of that so we can actually make a start and working our way through the beginning. So that's what we're going to start now. So the task, gather wood. So any of these types of wood count. It's basically anything that's wood related. It'll give us some torches, some XP and some, by the looks of it, some cooked steak. Uh, but yeah, I think for now, first point of business while we've got this here is to go and chop down some of these to get some wood. All right, so kick off that first objective. Awesome. Next one, make a crafting table. Oh, there we go. That's heaps easier. Cool, cool. So we've made the crafting table now too. So, we're, you know, we're making some progress, slowly but surely. Crafting on a stick. Chuck all the way around there. One of them, one of them. What that I do is use it. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, a bit more XP. Um, all right, so now we've got to try and make a wooden pickaxe. Let me try and get some cobble of obvious reasons. So let's. I don't have enough normal wood. Um, now I know I've got plenty of stone over here, so let's go mine some cobble. We'll go and grab some cobble with this. Get a few things ticked off. We should have. I'm not going to say we're going to have a great deal of um, a great deal of these quests ticked off, but we're going to have a pretty good start in chapter one. I want to make sure we get enough to go through for a couple of stone tools, like a stone pick, stone axe, um, as well as like a furnace and whatnot as well, because we've got those quests we're still going to do as well. We haven't done them yet. One lone sheep. Really hoping there'd be more than one so I could kill him. Get a bed so I had somewhere to sleep. And we check journey now. There is definitely no village in sight. At least not at the moment from what I can see. So this is going to be a rough night. Um, so what are we going to do here? So we've mined cobble and we're going to make a furnace. So we may as well do that while we're here. And out of the middle, let's chuck a furnace down. And that'll have that one picked off. I think, given the circumstance, we'll clear out a little bit of space here, bust up a bit of this grass, plant a couple of trees. We will eventually look at setting up a kelp farm too, though. Um, we're going to get some fuel for the for the burner. Uh, we've not found any of the food items just yet, but we'll come across them when we get to them. I do like the bits of residual light that these um, torches put off, though. It's super good. Open up a nice little pocket of space down here for now. What if I eat? Oh boy, I'm in trouble here now. Yeah. Zombie. We'll pretend like that never happened. I've got to try and be a little bit more PG. I always forget. PG Ash, PG. <laughs> yeah, there's not really a great deal of anything I can do at the moment.
Really a great deal, not much I can do. Should just try and run around and wait until daylight. No. That skeleton is absolutely destroying me. God damn, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> like I'm legitimately just trying to fight through the night. We're still at nearly four minutes of night time. Man. Not having myself a house was a bad idea. Skeleton, please leave me alone. Both of you, please leave me alone. Oh. Got him. That's a boss enemy. We we don't want that just yet. Um, we do want those all these death waypoints to be gone. That looks a little bit better. Yep, yep. So I've got two minutes to survive the night. No ideas what I got from all that. Quick motor gem. No ideas what that does. Does that do cold damage? Minus gravity or swim speed? That could be handy. A bit of grave dust, humanoid flesh. Oh. Yeah, I don't really want to be taking a bite out of myself, to be truthfully honest, but... So, like, like I said, we are making a... Like a nice little step into it. Like, we are getting there slowly but surely. There's just so much. So, so much going on here. Um, but the main thing that I want to be able to do is to grow Inferium. So I need eight Inferium Essence and one lot of wheat seeds to be able to make it. Then I need these pots as well. Preferably a hopper one, which means I've got to put in some work doing everything else, like all of this stuff, trying to chase iron and the furnace and, you know, all that sort of crap. Oh yes, that tree spawned already. Very good. But now it is back to being daylight again. Melons! Take them. They're like a very, very easy source of food to make. There's some form of building or something over here and I have zero ideas what it is. That's tin, that's garnet sand, whatever the hell that is. No ideas. Asbestos, so we don't want to be digging that up. That stuff is dangerous. Oh, Jesus. What have they done to the game? We do want to be digging that up, though. Oi. 
I think this could be a good idea. Um, thinking of you editing this at some point. Maybe see how many times I've died already. I think that's like seven times or eight times or something already now. I'm like on the second day. I think we're going to need to have a death counter running. Just because this could actually be kind of amusing to see how many times I die. Trying to get myself like a reasonably set up here. Um, now, as I was going to do, swap them over. Oh crap, there's another one that spawns. There's a spawner there somewhere. There's that spawner I'm looking for. I've got like, so many enemies here, I can't actually get into the spawner to break it. Keep spawning pillagers that have fire resistant, and they keep smashing me with bows. I've got about four of them chasing me, and it's not fun. There we are, spawner's broken. Thank you on the dog, I've got so many of them chasing me. <laughs> Penny. Alright, one one down. There's me dead. I've just I'm literally struck gold. I've got three gold ingots, two diamonds, an anvil, bits of iron, and an enchanting table inside this chest. That is clutch. That is so good. Okay, we've cleared the inventory back out a little bit. Let's take the steak and the chicken because we're probably going to need it. I have 54 inferior essence. That is nuts. There's some inferior seeds. So I've already got one of them made. Um, I needed the botany pots though. I'm going back over and grab some of that iron. Excuse me, that was very rude. I think that was that, that, that was iron. Oh, that's what do we want? Oh, don't drown, Ash, don't drown. Why is there so many mobs? Oh, my lord, that's what I get for putting her on hard mode. That's cool. Oh, there's another boss spawn in. Where was that? Oh, yeah, on storage. Cool. Bit of free XP. Oh, I've got all sorts of stuff going on here, really. Upgrade base. Sure, whatever that does. I can't remember. Stuff ticked off. Basic pipe upgrade. Backpacks. Um, I need leather, string, 
chest. I could probably almost do that. I don't have enough of that stuff here yet, but it wouldn't take me much to get some leather and some string. Alright, doing the furnace upgrade, tick that one off. We've got an iron pick, tick that quest off. What do we get there? Bee oh, we got a beehive, that's cool. I'll be using that shortly. What are we getting that one? Compacting drawer, okay. Sure. Still running around bedless. I'm gonna start to see if I can fix that now. Then I'm gonna go on the hunt for some sheep. Oh, I found a couple of pigs, that's not really going to help me a great deal, but... There's so many pigs, why is there no sheep? Where be all the sheep? Eight hundred blocks, three hundred blocks, this must be a sign. No game! <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, there's a slug! What do I get from killing a slug? Slime, that's handy. Got another one of these towers. I didn't make it to the last one because that's when I got mauled by those villagers. Like, what is in them? They want to see. Take that, thanks very much. Take that too, thank you. And whatever that thing is too, thank you. And whatever that is too, thank you very much. Oh, they've got a chest. Iron. Holy crap! Oh, oh Jesus, it scared the shit out of me. Well, at least lesson learned in future for these things. They are, in fact, booby trapped. Just because I'm an explorer and looking for a sheep that I still haven't found. <laughs> That's all I need is just one more like white sheep because I've already got two bits of white wool. Oh, actually, hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. I found some form of building. I don't know if there's going to be friend. I think there's friendlies in there. There's a green dot on the map. If they have a bed, I'm stealing it. I'm not even sorry. Oh, hang on, this might be one of the guys that's got the, the portals in the roof, I think. I can't remember. I think it is. I can't remember what these guys are called. Heaps of charcoal, some berries, some wheat. Yes. What do we got there? Moonstone shards, empty map, cracked solar gem. Some more berries and charcoal. Heap of actual wheat bales and cells, which is kind of cool. I want to pick up these because that'll be good food for me. Is that another white sheep? It is. Yes. Bed. There we go. I'm just trying to work out what I actually want to do next. Basic ore doubling. Well, in the beginning, it's necessary you must out extra resources. There's several ways to double your output per raw ore, but one of the easiest ways is by creating and using an ore hammer to break down one raw ore into two dusts, which can be smelted into ingots, effectively doubling your ingot output. Yes. Three sticks and two blocks. Oh, God. We're not going to be able to mine that one. Can't smell coal. That should be a good test. I don't think that's going to work. I think it's just going to break it. I wonder if I go... I 
That's not work. Like, I can't put it down. I don't quite understand. Unless I need something else to hit it on. No, nah, it's taking way too long. But we'll see. We'll see what it does. The worst case, I'll lose a block of copper. Nope. Yeah, you just put it into the crafting table. Alright, anyway, we'll get back out of that. So now we know about the ore doubling stuff's gonna make life so much easier. Um I think we want to try and get a backpack, so we need leather, string, a chest. I should have comfortably more than enough leather. Yeah, where is it? Got eight, but I ain't got no string. Uh, I mean, I could even go look for some clay, try and make some of these botany pots. That's what I was gonna do. Clay. I think that's all I had to do, just put the clay in there and that kind of has like the little clay brick thing, I think. Yep. Okay, how big am I going to need the house? I reckon I've even just did that in there or do for now. Like that sort of size. I don't need it to be glorious. It's just got to be functional so I've got somewhere safe to be. Make three of them because you can't just make one. Ta-da! Door done. Now, how do I have to make this? Was this the same to make the pot? No, is it just them? Crap. I can't remember. Oh, it's blocks and the flower pot. Got about the flower pot. No. No. Yeah. That'll actually give us, or it'll give us the opportunity to make three lots of the hopper botany pots. Harvest moon rises, your crops provide a better harvest. We're going on the hunt. We need spooters. I ain't planned. <laughs> And then in the pots where we're going to put the Ethereum seeds in that soil. That's right, I needed some form of hoe, the essence, and a block of dirt. Oh look, there's one. Oh, is that all I had to do? Oh, look, we'll take it. Eventually, we can make like all the different tools and bits and pieces. Well, maybe we can put those growth accelerator, uh, growth accelerator blocks underneath. But it's got to be directly underneath the farmland. So I think that's if you're 
not like if you're growing it like this i don't think it works it has to be like because you can use that farmland put it down like a normal block of dirt so you have to have the accelerator block say here the farmland on top and then growing this you have to manually harvest but either way it's begun <laughs> Um, and I think, honestly, that's a great spot to leave the first recording. Like the first episode, if you will, the first part. Um, we've made a little bit of progress, as you guys can see. We've, um, through the beginning, we've ticked a lot of stuff off. Let's close that off. We'll tick these off. I mean, we have to pay for rewards. Melon seeds, that's handy. Thirty of essence? Oh, that's super handy. Um, yeah, so we've made a good little bit of progress. Got a few things ticked off already. Kind of getting there. Um, we need to work on trying to get a furnace augment. So like maybe that one to halve the cook time. Don't care if it uses twice the amount of fuel. Oh, actually, no, I suppose the fuel efficiency, because it only slows cook time by 25%. That's heaps better. So maybe we'll just do that. Um, if that, I need block the stone. I still need redstone or whatever else so maybe that'll be the next the next episode for it um but yeah for now i think that's where we'll stop it we've made a pretty good start and yeah one recording down many many more to go because we've got a lot of quests but for now guys i'm done i'm out and i'll see you in the next episode bye for now